just got a new package with makeup inside hello there and welcome to a new vlog today i'm finally selling the makeup table so everything that's in this box it's gonna probably stay in the box because i don't have anywhere to put the products i am glad that i found someone in the city to sell the makeup table to so i don't have to pay anyone to transport it so i will just deliver it personally and I'm gonna make the delivery later today and yeah hopefully it's gonna enjoy it as much as I did for all these years and I will be able to move on to something else to another story another part another chapter of my life all right I just opened the box as usual, we have a lot of bubble wrap. This time I picked some products that I wouldn't normally pick. I just wanna test out some different things from the website. So at my end, I can um, share them to people. And of course, as usual, we have some coupon codes here and the free um, earrings. Okay, I got a brush. So cute, another pearly hair clip that I'm collecting and this time we have three pairs of earrings, we have a Hello Kitty one at the bottom and some, some rhinestones here, alright. I'm kind of taking breaks because there's a lot of noise coming from outside from the constructions and the first product that kind of caught my eye and surprised me is this Revolution blush because I didn't expect it to have this size. It's kind of a big blush. It's like a transition one from highlighter to this shade of blush. Let me see if I can open it. Okay, I need scissors again. I just love the blush. So I seen this on the website for such a long time and every time kind of I was looking at it because it has this peachy shade which is really nice. I know how much you can see it on my hand. Let me put a bit more. It has this peachy shade and I love peachy shades at blushes so can't wait to test this out. I got two sets of nail stickers from Essence. Now the things with nails stickers, they are stickers so you can um, also use them for makeup and I got them especially for makeup. Look at these flowers and these gold ones they are so pretty and i can just imagine some festival looks or just colorful flowery looks using stickers in makeup so i will create such things so stay tuned for that next i got a is this rimmel london yeah it is rimmel london brow this way it's just a simple eyebrow pencil kind of needed a new eyebrow pencil then from Maybelline, I got a lip gloss, lifter gloss with hyaluronic acid in this beautiful nude shade. It's a brosy type of nude. I do have a few glosses, some transparent ones as well, but I just wanted to try out a matte kind of gloss and see how it feels on the lips, how it looks. I just want to change the colors a bit, the lip combos a bit. So yeah, uh, if I will have a new favorite lip combo. I will share it with you. From Catrice, I have a nice shadow stick. It's this type of um, kind of pencil with a sponge here in the tip. In this um, golden champagne shade. I don't know how much you can see it. Usually when I just show the swatches of the camera like this, they are not that visible, but it's a beautiful shimmery shade. Um, speaking of Catrice, I have Catrice Caviar Gouache. I think the Caviar Gouache is on the packaging, <laughs> or I don't know uh, the name. It's a limited edition. Okay, it's a mini eyeshadow palette. It looks so luxurious. I just love the packaging. Let me open it. This speaks luxury to me. I am in love with this packaging. The shades are so pretty. They are just neutrals. They are like the perfect shades to create a, a nude kind of look on the eyes. So there's that. Now we have the 
MUA, Makeup Academy brand. Undress your skin, illuminating liquid glow. So we have a liquid glow. This is how the package looks like. This is the glow here on my hand. So pretty. Such a natural shine. You can mix this type, this type of product in your foundation or you can apply them as they are. Now, something you can really mix into the foundation is this Revolution Liquid Highlighter Drops, which I did have these before a few years ago. And these are really, really shiny. They are that crazy type of liquid highlighters. All right, be ready to be amazed. Even though I think everyone knows of these um, highlighters, like it's not a secret or anything. Right, well, this one is... Okay, this is different. Can you see it here? I don't even know how to rotate my hand. Now, this one has some finer particles. Liquid Euphoric Gold. I think I had it in gold, which was much... Uh, crazier but this liquid euphoric gold it's not that crazy so it's gonna be more usable again this type of liquid highlighter you can add in your foundation or directly apply it to the skin or even add it to your body cream to create like a sparkly body cream so yeah this kind of products are really versatile there are this new miss sporty foundation on the website and I just wanted to try it out because Miss Sporty is such an affordable brand. And when I first tried to get into makeup when I was a kid, Miss Sporty was um, the foundation I chose because it was the most affordable. And when you're a kid, I mean, you're not really investing in makeup. So uh, now that they got these new foundations, I just wanted to test it out and see how it works because there are probably young girls out there that need an affordable type of product so this may be an alternative it's vegan vegan foundation light weight moisturizing formula that's what it says naturally perfect match so we shall see how it looks on the skin and again from Miss Sporty I got this um, little quad palette small palette here again really affordable and i feel like it got those four shades perfect to create a complete eye makeup and be ready to go out it's something so small so little so yeah this time i picked some different kind of uh, products and the last four products are something that i wouldn't normally pick but this time i just want to like extend the type and categories I am uh, talking about that I'm presenting on the website. I got this uh, Schwarzkopf Tuft Volume. It's a volume powder. This is how the package looks like. I've seen this in like normal stores as well. How do you open it? Right, you open like any kind of powder. And let's be honest, my hair sometimes, most of the times actually, needs a bit of extra volume now it looks like this because i kind of messed with it i had it braided yesterday the whole day and now it kind of looks like this but i do have those times when i don't have any volume whatsoever so maybe this one will help then we have agafia grandmother agafia <laughs> uh, this name is kind of funny uh, we have a natural boost up for shine and strength uh strengthen the hair how do we how do we use this strengthen the roots and nourishes hair with vitamin e bp and b group which accelerate the natural growth of hair spray on the clean towel dried hair from a distance of 20 30 centimeters then style as usual so it's the kind of leave-in product you just apply it on the damp hair and you're good to go i'm curious to test this out after i wash my hair i'm gonna have to test them one by one because uh, they are kind of different products and i have that volume powder that i would probably go for like a 
second third day after i wash my hair and kind of starts to lose the volume because kind of gets greasy and being a powder kind of remove the grease and make it fluffier then with that spray of course i will go right after i wash my hair then i have this other product it's a volume plumping mousse from nivea and this is a mousse i chose this one because i want to try those kind of natural beachy waves and i guess the mousse is the way to go to get those now this i will test out another time because i don't want to mess with those other products and the last product in the box is from avon it's the advanced techniques miracle densifier leave-in treatment with hyaluronic peptide complex fuller and thicker looks it's again a leave-in kind of treatment kind of has a thicker thicker kind of uh, texture because you don't hear the li liquid when you move it around so it's probably that kind of hair oil you put it on your lens and ends of your hair to just make it smoother and easier to brush I will of course have to test this out as well so I got some new makeup products, some different products than usual and I also got some hair products because I do want to talk about hair more on the makeup store um, socials and I will also write on a blog from now on. I will write on, them or their, on their blog so new products are the way to go so if you're curious of any of them I will also keep you updated here on the channel so don't forget to keep up with my vlogs because I usually I speak about things in vlogs like as I'm doing things in my life I, I don't really do separate videos for just a product only so um, yeah stay here if you want to discover more since I will have to do that delivery I will probably apply some makeup later on today and with this occasion I will probably try out some of the new products that I got uh, today so stay tuned for that right now I will go ahead and um, do some work and I will see you soon I will probably just see you in the next second because that's how vlogs work Seems like I will have to get ready quickly and I put some of this new foundation on my face and I'm gonna blend it in, it has a thick texture kind of a weird day to go for a new foundation i must say this right here is a maybelline gloss let me find the shade 004 silk so it's this beautiful inky nude shade i love the packaging as well all right so it's really pigmented as you can see pigmented shiny gloss beautiful smell i love the color I really really love this color. It's not like an extreme shine, it's just uh, more pigment and it's super comfortable on the lips, it's not sticky and I'm just gonna brush my hair and actually go. This is my outfit, I am keeping the bralette because it's super super warm. Now the pants are long but they are thin they are super comfortable and this is my summer super casual super relaxed outfit and of course the bag i also put a gold chain on it so it looks cute ready to put the table in the car and go and give it to another person We did it, the makeup table has a new master and now we are going to grab some food. I got my eyes and my taste on that Jankuja McFlurry, so we are going to take that and of course something else like food. Every time I come to the city, I feel like a tourist because I film the buildings <laughs> always. But I must say, we have beautiful buildings here. So if you're passionate about street photography, architecture, stuff like that, Arad is the way to go. Outdoor libraries. Now that's cool.
got a food, got the McFlurries, but I don't think the name is Jankuja, but it's a bit different, like Janguda, Jan it's something else, but I don't know, it doesn't say on the recipe, so yeah. This is my night snacks with cheese and bacon, and I also got two simple chicken burgers and the McFlurry, that's my go-to, let's say. This is the process for now. It finally starts to look like a terrace. We have this swing that kind of transformed into a bed and it was really relaxing sitting there after a long and hot day. Tonight the weather got a bit chillier and just sitting there was super relaxing. I kind of took a nap and it was really really nice. And now I'm just removing the makeup, getting ready for bed. There's nothing interesting happening tonight so... I will see you tomorrow. After I got my setup ready here, I took a few pictures and clips of this Catrice face serum with hyaluronic acid. Um, I got some really nice things. I played around with some macro shots. It took me about 40 minutes to finish all the clips and pictures because I did multiple perspectives, different shots, close-ups and so on. So now I will have to transfer everything onto the hard drive, edit edit the pictures, edit the clips, I have to edit a reels and TikTok, prepare some posts and write an article about the product. That's basically the thing I have to do today. What I like about this product is that it's super lightweight on the skin. It works perfectly for summertime. It has that liquidy gel-like texture. It goes really fast into the skin. Also has these golden particles if you can see them and it doesn't have perfume so it's really great for sensitive skin i really like the product i just started using it so i still have a lot to go and you don't even have to apply much because a little bit goes a long way i hate to have my skin full of things in the summertime when it's already hot and i'm sweating a lot so this kind of product is the way to go also it works really well under makeup because of those particles make everything look dewy and flawless and fresh and yeah the texture goes great with everything just like this or applied under makeup it's just a really nice product and lately I've been using a lot of Catrice and Essence skincare products they go for natural ingredients no perfume in their skincare so this is a huge plus for me I don't really care if they are drugstore or cheap products as long as they focus on going with no perfume and no bad stuff as ingredients then I'm down for it all right Time to go and work. I am done writing the article. Didn't even get me one day to do that. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I just have to think more about how to put things, how to write about them, but at the end, I'm really excited about what I wrote in here and of course one thing had to go wrong one way or another. I mean not necessarily wrong, I just have to gain some extra permission so I'll be able to add 
the pictures into the article. After I have that access, I will be basically able to post the article. Until then, it's just gonna sit here in this document and wait for that. From all the pictures I took and edited today, this collage right here is my absolute favorite thing. I just love how it looks. All the elements, they just look nice. And I'm looking at it and I kind of can't believe that it was shot with the kit lens. Sometimes the kit lens amazes me, even though it's just a kit lens. But yeah, got some really nice pictures and I used this one for all the posts I did today. Here I am again doing my thing. I really needed that haircut because my ends were kind of dry and now my hair is shiny and beautiful. I also did a bit of layers here to frame my face and yeah, I'm just in love. Alright, um, I did a bit of work. I still have to take a few pictures. I did this natural kind of nude makeup with a wing which is gonna be just perfect for a later when we will have to go out. This is officially my new favorite lip combo. I just love the look. I have this Rimmel London lasting finish in the shade Cappuccino, which is a brown type of lip pencil. And on top of that, I came with the new lifter gloss from Maybelline in the shade 004 Silk. And the end result is just beautiful. As you can see, it looks like I have super voluminous big lips but they are just 100% my natural lips with these two products on now this is a little setup for today's work looks nice i just have to bring in some more light now look at this this little tripod is funny for the ring light but it does the job i have to crazy myself i always have ideas i'm always able to fix things somehow so yeah we'll always find a solution for anything this look is a mood i'm really happy i'm happy when i look in the mirror i am in love with this hairstyle i should do it more from now on i guess i'm gonna get into hair more i always wanted to get into it but for some reason i just didn't but i guess this this look is a sign that I should try out new hairstyles when I get ready, so stay tuned for hair tutorials, I guess. <laughs> this look asks for pictures, so I'm gonna go out and take some portraits. Barbecue, Caesar. You know what? I'm gonna take a few of these. Hungry people, got a little. It's been a while since the last time we've been here, and we found a lot of things that we want to try. And some of them are the things we kind of know how the taste is, and um, we couldn't find them at another store. So time to eat. I mostly got cheese things, like this has cheese inside, I have another thing with cheese and this is with sausage, that's kind of my food for today I guess. And of course when we got home we have a bunch of sweet things, rip my diet and my skin as well because I have this combo of eating sweets and being super hot outside and always sweating and of course i got some monsters on my face we are back home i just finished eating some of the sweets and it's kind of late maybe it doesn't seem because i have all the lights turned on at the moment so it looks quite bright in the room but it's late i feel so tired it was such a long day today 
Right, this is my hair at the moment. To get this texture, I put mousse in my hair. This Nivea volume mousse that I got these days. And the hair also look really nice like this. Because it's fluffy and it has the texture. So I guess using that I can experiment with different kind of hairstyle. Not really excited about that. I just realized I haven't told you what we did while we were out. We went to buy the brick decorations. I mean, they are some stone type of pieces that you stick on the wall and it looks like bricks. They are not actual bricks. So yeah, can't wait for that to be put on. Can't wait, can't wait for everything to be ready and beautiful as I imagine it's gonna be. Um, it's not much time left. I mean, the progress is there and everything works really nice and yeah, can't wait to have another new place to drink my coffee. Believe it or not, it's already 10 p.m. So I'm gonna get ready for a shower and for bed. I'm gonna remove the makeup and I think I'm gonna end this vlog right here. We have three days. I mean, they were not like full vlogged days, but I filmed for three days. I had a lot of work to do, so I filmed um, how much I was able to, but hopefully you will enjoy this vlog and stay tuned because more interesting ones are on the way. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.